Hey, what's happening, guys? Thanks for stopping by. So uh, you're just in time to watch me go crazy and start ripping the cabinets out. So I'm going to rip out all these mismatching hodgepodge of cabinets. I'm going to put in some new ones. It's a nice light gray color, so it'll brighten it up in here. And I'm going to try to arrange it in such a way where I can get my refrigerator tucked in against the wall. So, uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned in. We'll see how it goes. All right, so we're halfway out. I'm going to uh, shear up that insulation and uh, continue removing the cabinets and we'll go from there. Okay, so I got everything out and uh, man, all the dust and dirt that was back there. So the next thing to do is uh, tape up the insulation, make sure the spacers are behind it or about a half inch. I think they've got compressed over the last year. So we'll redo that because I want to make sure there's an air gap behind the reflectix. And the challenge is going to be when these new cabinets come in, I think they'll be ready this afternoon. And I'll go pick them up. Nothing fancy, they're just light gray. They're all the same color, all the same brand. But the challenge is going to be to get this fridge. Oh, uh, where's my fridge? Oh, my fridge is over here behind me. Is to get it to be able to be in this area right back here where my finger is. That wheel well is going to be a challenge. This gas tank uh, cover fill valve thing is going to be a challenge. But uh, I'm pretty sure I can cut around it and uh, block around it however I need to. But I've got about 60 inches to work with between the bed and the back of the seat. If I have to move the seat forward a little bit, I can, but I really like to leave it where it's at. I'd like to leave my fire extinguisher where it's at. We'll see how that works out. All right, guys. So this is the layout that I'm going to settle on. Um, I cannot wait till my other two gray towers come in. That way I can replace that brown one and this brown one. And uh, right now I've just got everything set in place. Nothing's really secure. I haven't put my hanger strap on the back to... Uh, mount everything permanently, but look how much better this is Look at all this floor space. I got here that I've got the uh, refrigerator tucked back against the wall now And I've got an opening here for my water jug and back behind the water jug is another foot of space and Then behind each cabinet is another eight inches of space so I can put my buddy heater back there I already got it back there and uh, I can put my battery powered uh, tire pump back there and all other kind of things back there so I added some more reflectix and shored that up and so it's thicker insulation behind there now and one other thing I want to show you that here's the kicker this is what um, is going to be the best part of this so I've got a table built into the cabinet here. It just slides out and slot when you need it. It's a birch plywood and um, I've got to have to cover that with some sort of uh, formica or something like that. No big deal. I can. So I'll give you this shot of it. The table pulled out. I've uh, trimmed the corners off. Comes out over a foot wide. Uh, actually, it can come out, I think, a total of 15 inches wide. So I can sit in this seat here and use it, you know, to prepare things on. Now I'll give you another shot of it pushed in, so when I don't need it, I can push it in out of the way. Okay, so I've got it slid back in, and the tension of the cabinets actually holds it in place. So I slide it in out of the way when I don't need it, and then I've got all this walking space through here to get around and about through the van. So that was just an afterthought, and it turned out to be perfect because, you know, I, I thought I was going to be sacrificing uh, countertop space, but I'm not. I'm having more now than I ever had before, and look at all this floor space. I got a mess on the bed back here. Leftover stuff. And I've got to take all my old cabinets to the Goodwill. I'm not sure if they're open back up yet or not. 
and something's come up, um, I'm going to have to leave the house sitting gig for two or three days. They're coming back into town to tie up some loose ends. And then they're heading back to Florida again. So I've got to get all this uh, set up so I can live in this van full time for a couple of days. And then I'll be house sitting again for a while. And then after that, uh, maybe the two gray towers will come in. I can get those replaced and installed. And we'll be set. So the next video will be the finished product. Just wanted to throw up some content today to show you the progress I've made so far. Take care. Be well. Smash the bell.